Hey internet, so I just wanted to do a really quick intro because I realise I haven't introduced it or really talked at all. But basically I had the absolute honour of being maid of honour at my high school best friend's wedding a few weekends ago. And I basically vlogged quite a lot of it. Obviously I couldn't film like the actual ceremony but I managed to film quite a lot and like kind of more like the behind the scenes, the rehearsal, um, my speech and I also did a song. So I got that and I got the first dance a little bit. So anyway, I just wanted to chuck together a little vlog for it, but it's not like a wedding video. It's obviously from my point of view, so it doesn't really capture everything as such. So I'm just going to call it a little maid of honors vlog. So I hope you enjoy. I just thought like I would kind of want to look back on it and like maybe the others would enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy.
Uh, so I met Eleanor when we were 11 in grade 6. Um, we met through a mutual friend. And I remember thinking, does this girl speak? Or... <laughs> Slowly but surely, she came out of her shell. And by grade 7, we were besties. We always joked that I forced my friendship upon her. But it was as simple as me telling her, we're friends now. And her going along with it. I think I dragged her out of her shell. But she came out, so it's fine. And in grade 10, we reunited over our mutual love for music. So if you weren't aware, Eleanor is one of the most talented violinists you will ever meet. I was a very basic guitar player who found out I could kind of sing, and we would do little covers together of our favorite pop songs, and we bonded over this passion for music we both shared. In year 10, we formed this girl's band called Jedi. It wasn't a Star Wars tribute band, it was all of our first initials, and then we were kind of like, oh, Jedi, yeah, that's already a thing. But, what <laughs> Most people in high school would describe me and Eleanor as inseparable. We did basically everything together. We did mostly the same subjects, and I even dragged her along to all the extracurricular activities that I wanted to do, like debating, which she wasn't interested in. <laughs> loving friend where I would yell and shout my love for people from the rooftops. She would leave Tim Tams at my door when she knew I was having a hard time. For a year or so she lived with us and we had the best time. It was like a permanent sleepover. She was there through a lot of big events in my life like learning to drive, our first teenage party, her first drunken escapades. <laughs> Haven't got much better but you know, we'll skip uh, my first serious boyfriend, our final exams, graduating high school, moving out of home, the works. We planned our features together. Sometimes we may have skipped a maths class or two to go to the music room. Some days we may have snuck off to go buy an energy drink and chocolate from the shops nearby. <laughs> we would sit and drink tea and watch movies with my mum. I would force her into doing her history assignments and she'd fall asleep on the textbooks. So, I got many photos of her falling asleep in strange places, but I thought I'd save that for her 30th because, like, the wedding bit me. <laughs> <laughs> we would go into each other's room, mostly in my room, and just lay there discussing the day, talk about boys, talk about assignments that we didn't want to do, talk about how scary the future was. We would watch tons of movies, eat lots of chocolate, drink lots of tea, and kind of try to study sometimes. She was the sister I never had, the best friend I always needed. We were polar opposites in a lot of ways, but it worked well. I needed a calming pulling back, and she needed an encouraging push forward, or shove forward. <laughs> I was kind of a personal security guard that she never really asked for, but I took that role upon myself, as I do for most of my loved ones. One time, she walked into a poll in front of a group of grade 8 girls, and they did not let her live her down. They laughed at her whenever she would walk past them. And when she was alone, it made her really uncomfortable. So I had to kind of go sort them out. <laughs> they were great, and I was like, great, 11? Okay, maybe 12. It was probably bullying, but I was like, listen, you mess with my girl again. You won't see her in 12. <laughs> Let's just say they didn't bother her again. <laughs> So I was the friend who went back and returned the food if she got something she didn't want. I was the friend who made sure the boys that she didn't like backed up and backed off. I was the friend who wanted to hunt down anyone who made her cry or even frown. I was the friend who dusted anyone who wronged her. I was the friend who always had her corner. Eleanor is an incredibly funny, intelligent, talented, caring and loving friend. She has always supported me in everything I've done with no judgment. She has always been willing to listen to whatever rants I needed to go on. She has always said yes to anything I've suggested, within reason. She has always, despite being naturally unconfrontational, stood up for me and even given stern talks to boys who broke my heart. She has always been fun, liked by many, and extremely selfless. She's also always been a little shy, and hence I took it upon myself to take this girl under my wing and protect her from whatever might come her way, even if she didn't want or need it. I wanted to do it. And now, I can happily and with full confidence pass this role to a very capable bearded man, Casey. I'm extremely glad that she 
she has found you and that you've made her so happy. I feel extremely confident in passing the role of protector over to you. I'm sure you'll beat up anyone who is mean to her. I'll still probably pop in and third wheel you a lot of the time, but unfortunately for you, I'm not on package, so I have to deal with that. And I can't wait to annoy you even more than I already have. I know you will both have a long loving future ahead and I wish you all the happiness in the world. Look after my girl Casey or I will be hunting you down. <laughs> also, not to be a speech hog, I like to be a little bit extra, but I wanted to do something special on top of my speech and sing a little song because Eleanor and I were in a band and we covered a song. Thank you. 